Choosing plastics for medical devices can be challenging. Some plastics will crack, craze, discolor, and become sticky after being exposed to aggressive disinfectants and drugs. And as medical devices become more portable, they have to be more reliable. As a polymer scientist, I'm often asked why plastic fails. This is why we develop four-step tests to better understand how different plastics perform in the environment they were used. Step one, simply select a jig with appropriate strain level. To accelerate environmental stress cracking, we choose 1.5% strain. Step two, load plastic flex bar onto the jigs. Remember to load control sample that were not exposed to chemical. Step three, apply chemicals such as commonly used hospital disinfectants, lipids, drugs, or drug carry solvents to the flex bar using a pre-soaked piece of cotton. Enclose the entire sample jigs in the plastic bag to prevent evaporation and leave it at room temperature for 24 hours. Step four, unload the samples. You may already see changes in some plastics, but you don't want to stop there. There may be cracks or crays that were not visible to the naked eye or identified by the weight or dimensional change. Run the reverse side impact test on the exposed and controlled samples. Physical property retention tells a lot more complete reliability story. To best interpret results, record the impact strength of exposed and controlled sample to calculate the percentage of impact strength retention. High retention means better reliability after exposure. For a medical device that will be exposed to aggressive disinfectants and drugs, this four-step test will allow you to understand which plastics might become sticky, craze, crack, discolor, or fail. Ultimately, this test should help you confidently choose the best material.